out there, the Daddy Action, the Cottonmouth Kings. Johnny Riggs right here. D-Log, D-Log over here. Chilling out the Freestyle 101 up here in Hollywood, California. G4, G4 TV. TV. Attack the show. We're about to not get paid and go freestyle for a second. Let's see what we come up with. Uh, they didn't put no alcohol in the drink, so it's uh, midday. It's not so vodka? It's not even 420 yet, as far, uh, last time I checked. So no, we'll, we'll, 23 minutes. We'll try and put something together Countdown. real quick. Cottonmouth Kings, G4, out here doing things. Seasonal wraps. It's like seasonal brew from Blue Moon. Just getting all the flavors good. A little something new we thought about in the car on the way down here. Like, it's getting close to Halloween time. And Johnny Ricks is on G4 with a brand new rhyme. My favorite time of year, I'm getting candy for no reason. I'm dressing up like Pac in this trick-or-treat season. Ghosts and goblins, goblins and ghosts. In the rich neighborhoods, I heard they're handing out dope. Dollars, holla, I'm all about the free money. Worker bees in the high producing pounds of honey. It's funny to me how people all up in arms. Cause we like to hit our pipes and we love to rip our bongs. I don't see what's wrong with some inhaling. And can't be no worse. First in that Governor Palin, did you all see that last presidential debate? McCain up on TV preaching all that hate, uh, he can't relate, he don't know about my problems, we all should vote for someone who can solve them. Barack. <laughs> G4 of Cottonmouth Kings, represent Killer Cali, Daddy X on the Freestyle 101, uh. Rough and tough, back again, it's our backyard bandit Come through smash in a slam dance fashion D-gaff in the laughing out loud Cause to me, an MC means move the crowd But for now, I'll just put my mic down Put the, put the mic down, put the, put the mic down Cause I'm tripping like dirt ball in a mushroom cloud Zoned out like suspension belts breaking down I keep the whole spot cracking like some cocaine We got them bubbling pops like champagne And the funny thing is, I'm feeling no pain It's like slow motion living in the fast lane I'm like a cavity creep on your back tooth I keep them all feeling hot from the vote booth I'll disintegrate your crew and dismiss you Hachoo! You need a tissue That's kind of funny, son Your nose is kind of runny it's kind of funny that I'm making all the money And on top of that, my wife's a playboy bunny That's the real shit Hold on, hold on, hold on Let me leave this microphone I got my agent on the phone I need time to get paid Yeah, man, I'm far way off I need to get laid Peace to the shade Daddy, yes, I'm out of this piece. One take, Jake Let's do the interview portion Get this all done We need to go have a cigarette Meet up with D-Lo Get this done Get that money Make it all funny Playboy bunny Porn stars, big things, that's what we do. Living life Cali style, SoCal West Coast. Cottonmouth Kings, Daddy X, Johnny Richter. Peace. Caught up in the matrix, baby, life is like a matrix. Cottonmouth Kings, we're playing video games on G4. Freestyle 101. Come back for some more. Let's go hit that bag, man. My, my earphones are falling out the door. All right, peace, man. Cottonmouth Kings. We grew up in the suburbs out in Orange County, of course, is a, is a hotbed for punk rock. As far as a hip-hop scene there out in Orange County back in the days when we started, there definitely was no hip-hop scene, you know, but we were listening to hip-hop in our cars and our garages, and I, I always loved hip-hop. I fell in love with it way back in the day, but... Old big ghetto blaster Beastie tape Boys, players. Yeah. You, get the, you get the double tape going eventually. Once you get a little bit of money, get your double tape going, listening to all Beastie Boys, like you are saying. Public, Public Enemy, Enemy, all that classics, the NWA. To me, that started all of a sudden. That hip hop started having the same kind of like attitude punk rock had, as far as like, wow, this is this is even gnarlier punk rock. You know what I mean? So that's what attracted me to it when when I first started listening to it and uh, started DJing, started playing in bands, and just started really just trying to do it because I just loved it. I think nowadays, if you go out there, there's a lot of kids out there rapping and doing it all in Orange County. If you look now. But uh, back then, it really probably like it, one or two dudes is, from high school yeah, that did it. Three or four guys I mean, getting together I mean? at the like lunch table. A small table. group, like two or three dudes. When we decided we were, hey, we're going to start rapping, we started playing backyard parties and rapping over beats, and you know, but also when we started the group, yeah, there was like all the white power of skinheads out there. Like you know, they definitely we get death threats and you know all kinds of crazy things out there. But, but we just love the music, so it never deterred us. We never, you know, we. When we always, even when we started the group, number the most important. I remember sitting down with D-Lo, so I said, "Dude, the only thing we're gonna rap about is what's real to you. So what's real to you is you like smoking weed, skateboarding, whatever you like to do. That's 
I'm not, I'm not trying to rap and try and pretend like we're something we're not. I mean, at that point, that's when I started Suburban Noise. Our first song out really was Suburban Life. It was like, most of hip hop represented the inner city, but everyone in the suburbs was starting to listen to we, we So we're like, I, we just want to represent the suburbs where we come from. We weren't trying to perpetrate like we're from the inner city or something like that. You know, we just, it just, I think, I think that's why people relate to us, why we're probably still around because speaking, keeping it real, I mean, you can't keep it any more, more real than this. And if you weren't keeping it real, it just wouldn't work, you know, it's too obvious, you know. Well, when the Cottonmouth Kings started, I was, um, I was playing in a punk rock band. I, I played in a couple punk rock bands coming up. That's where I pretty much got my band experience. But t and Johnny Richter, they, they had never been in a band, but they were always hanging out around our shows and coming out up to my place I had up in L.A. and they were always rapping. So I thought, have you guys th ever st thought about starting a rap group? And, you know, I think at that point, they they either get a job at Taco Bell or start laying, doing working with Dad, d -Lo's dad's company yeah. or something. So I think they, they were up to try something different, you know. We were just always rapping over the radio, whatever was cool. Like, we just loved the feel of it. Like, Richter, he knew every song. I mean, from top to bottom. Any song that came on the radio, he could pretty much hit the whole thing from top to bottom. He just... And like around that time, like 80, 88, 89, we were pretty young at the time. So we were like Beastie Boys, NWA, Ram DMC. That was as fresh, to, that was as fresh as I would see at the time. You know, punk rock was huge in Orange County. You know, Eric B. And Rock Kim, you know, Big Daddy Kane, all that stuff too. But that was like pretty fresh on the scene, you know, on the West Coast. When Ice Cube's America's Most Wanted came out, that's when I was like, wow, I, I want, I want this is something I want to do for sure. You know, I saw my favorite MCs. I even like, I love Red Man. I like some people that have kind of comedy, tell stories like Red. I like Ludacris a lot. I think Ludacris is dope because he's kind of funny, fun to listen to. But there's so many great MCs, you know.